Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about using EV slash cycles and Octane at the same time and some of the, the use cases for it. And I think this is all sort of new in my mind of even thinking about using both at the same time. So I'm sure there are a, a million more use cases for it. And it's probably a temporary fix because Brigade uh, is hopefully coming out sometime soon and will maybe take its place. But let's just uh, go ahead and get started. So uh, right now I don't have any, I don't think I have anything in my scene here. So I'll just go back to solid here. And I'm going to, we'll start in Eevee. So I'm going to go switch to Eevee. Uh, in my add-on I've, I've added this, this Pi menu that I can switch between Octane and Eevee pretty quickly. Um, so I can also switch here. So I'm going to Eevee and then <clears throat> let's go ahead and add a material. And we'll just make this red so we can see it. And then, so obviously it's a little hard to see right now. There's one light. I'm actually going to delete this light. Okay, great. So now let's go into the world and we're going to create an EV world. So let's just do, uh, we're going to make a HDRI world. So I'm just going to bring in an HDRI. Okay. And then I'm going to set this up like any other HDRI. I'll make this full screen so you can see it. Uh, all right. So we got uh, background. Uh, let's see, environment, texture, yeah, that's what we need. So I, dra I, I drug my image in, and now I can load it here. HDR, I'm going to do Winter River. So I have environment, texture, I have my HDR selected, color into color, background into surface. Make sure the world output is all. And if we jump out of this, we see that it's working. The HDR is set up, HDRI is set up correct. Um, let's go ahead and set up our worlds so that they are also the same. So to do that, uh, we're going to have to switch to, to, to Octane first. So with my add-on, I can just do that. But you can also go to the Render tab, Render Engine, Octane. Does the same thing, and obviously there's nothing here yet. Uh, I'm going to go back into full screen over here. And now that we are in Octane, if I drag this image down, it will create a texture, a, a, a octane texture for the same thing. And then if I click Shift A, search environment, e, e and V, I can find texture environment. And I can put this here, alt text goes to alt text, environment goes to octane environment. And if we come out, we can see that the HDRI is set up. But if we look, and we go to camera view here, if I switch to EV, Z down, you'll see that they're oriented differently. It's the same HDRI, but they're oriented differently. So we're going to fix that real quick. So we're going to do Shift A, search sphere, search, let's see, Shift A. Oh, I've got to be in Octane. So switch back to Octane. And then Shift A, search spherical projection. Plug that into projection, shift A, search, full transform. And then I believe it's negative 90 on the Y, but we'll just, we'll look here just to make sure. So let's see, in the Y, I'm gonna check, check negative 90. And then let's just double check, let's make sure this works. So uh, let's see. EV and Octane. So they're now, they they have the same exact HDRI, it's oriented the same and everything. Now, one other thing I should mention real quick is that with Octane, you should make sure uh, that this is set to one. So I'm gonna go Z, Octane, Gamma, one. Usually that's where you, you start. Actually, for this image, it looks like 2.2 .2 is actually correct. So usually you gotta change this to one. Okay, so now you can see our world uh, is it's using the same world and we can use both render engines and use the same world. Obviously, if you have some, you know, more complex world setup, you're not going to be able to mimic it exactly. Uh, but that's okay because for the most part, it, you're not trying to light in Eevee. You're trying to do other things in Eevee. So, uh, yeah, let's just get away from that for now. Okay. So now let's go back to Eevee. We want to start in Eevee because we're going to be converting all these these uh, these objects. 
So, <coughs> so now I'm going to go back to object mode. Actually, I'm going to do this so I don't, uh, so you can see, I'm going to make sure I don't accidentally keep that. I'm going to go up here and change this to shader editor. And I'll close that so that, yeah, there's more screen with my keyboard down here and everything. All right, so I'm going to make some very simple uh, materials here. I, I, so obviously, they're not going to convert the same as they would. You know, they might not always convert this easily, but I'm just going to go through and add some new materials, some very basic ones. One quick tip, if you didn't know, I actually think I knew this before, but forgot about it. If you click on the material icon, you can drag it onto the item, which is really, really cool. Really cool. Red. Let's make this monkey red. Still an Eevee. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this object. And then we're going to make sure that we have the shader window open. So again, up here, you can click on this and go down to shader. And then make sure object is set. So you have this nodes. And no matter how big your node tree is here, the, the, the process is going to be the same. So you're going to push A to select all. You can also box select, but pushing A selects all. Control C. So you've copied these nodes. Okay, you copy these nodes. Uh, you can do F3, convert to octane material. You can also go in the properties tab under materials. You can scroll to the bottom and find uh, find the material. So, but basically, first before we convert, we have to be in octane. So let's go uh, switch to octane. So now we're in octane. You can see our materials don't work at all. Um, and then we're going to go down to the material tab. And I'll show you where the converters are here. So you can go materials, converters, and then convert to octane materials. Um, so you can do it this way. You can do it through uh, AP Octane. I have a convert to octane material. All it does is run this same, same thing. Um, or you can push F3 and then convert to octane material. So again, before we convert, though, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our nodes. We can push A and then Control C to copy. And then we're going to convert. And now we make this full screen. So this is what uh, this is how Octane converted our material. But what we're going to do is now push Control V and paste in our EV material that we already had. Same same exact nodes. Um, and that's actually all we have to do because you can see we already have a material output. It's set to all, and we have our principal BSDF, which is the same. So you could continue if you needed to. If the if the conversion didn't work perfectly, you could also use this to help set up your your uh, your Octane material. So, but now with this this monkey, we can go into EV, and we can go into Octane, and we we can easily go into EV to set things up. We can move this around if we need to go into UV editing, or um, if we want to do some texture painting, or, or whatever the case may be. We can use EV to do a lot of the things that might be difficult in either solid mode or in rendered mode with Octane. If you see that one of your materials is not showing up, go back to the material and make sure that the material output for your Octane material is set to Octane. And you might need to set this to EV or Cycles, but it's, yeah, it's it sort of, I guess, play with it and see what works correct. But now it should work in both. And then let's change the color. Uh, this is supposed to be green. So you can just click this and drag the color in. Ah, hold on. You can click a color and then drag it into this slot here. And then now they should be working. OK, now everything's set up correctly. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. It's just showing you that it is possible to have Eevee and Octane working in the same time. And it could be really helpful to, for me, I know one of the main reasons I'm going to use it is just setting up my scene. I, I love to be able to see, you know, my textures while I'm setting up my scene as opposed to my normal workflow, which is move everything around in, in uh, solid view and, uh, and then hope it looks correct and then frame it where I think it looks good and then switching to rendered view and then going, oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> so obviously this is a very basic scene. It would be, wouldn't be that big of a deal to work in Octane in this scene, but uh, in some of my client work and some of like the projects we have, we do stuff with like an entire airport, 
and yeah, just having it load is 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 very troublesome. So, uh, being able to use EV and Octane is sort of like the best of both worlds. And I'm very curious to see like where where it goes with this because I think there's a lot of opportunities to do some really cool things uh, with both of them. Okay, that's it. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.